So there's been a few people since my last video where I talked about the final lines, so taking a nice final line which is going towards the object wall. A few people have asked me about that video and they've said, for the shots that I've played in that video, where am I aiming on the cue ball? So in this video, it's just a bit of a little quick recap video and I'm going to put on screen again the shots that I played in the other video, but this time I'm going to display the cue ball on the screen so you can see exactly where I'm aiming on all of these shots. Right, so here's the first way where the final line is a little bit unreliable. So if I'm playing to pot this brown and screw directly onto the blue along this line, you can see there that the line that I took was a little bit unreliable. I'd got exactly like we talked about, I'd got a very small area to land nicely on the blue. And then it meant that I've made a small mistake in terms of my power and I've actually now finished the wrong side of the blue. So that line can just be a little bit unreliable. Right, so the second way of playing this shot now is to use the side cushion. Now this is the way the professionals would do it because they've got two lines here. The first line towards the side cushion and then the second line is travelling nicely towards the blue with the white. So that final line that I'm talking about is a nice reliable one. So if I get down to play this brown now this time and we go off that side cushion you can see that once I hit that side cushion I've got a lovely line that's travelling all the way towards the blue ball. So if I play one of these shots first, so if you were to watch me now, and I'm going to take that line, so I'm going to pop the black and travel up towards the yellow. And you can see that that line there, it's just a little bit dangerous. If I make a small mistake there in terms of power or how high I hit on the cue ball, that line that the white is taking up the centre of the table is a little bit dangerous. It's not a reliable way of getting onto the yellow ball. So. If I ever go this time to play this shot and we're potting the black and coming off those two cushions there. So you can see that once I hit this side cushion there, I'm bringing the white nicely off this side cushion, up the table and the line that I'm travelling along is a lovely line where I've got a big margin of error there for leaving myself a lovely shot on the yellow ball. So if we have a look at the lines that I've chosen to take this time, I'm going to pot the black, come off the side cushion there off the other side cushion just past the middle bag and then you can see that the final line that the white ball is taking is always travelling towards that red ball. So we've got a big area there that I've highlighted in green where we can land the white and still have a shot on that red ball. So if I go to play one of these then now, so if we have a look, I'm going to pop the black. And then you can see once I hit that second side cushion there I'm just travelling all the way towards the red and I'm always leaving myself a nice shot on that red ball there. I've got big margin for error for underhitting and overhitting and that's how you're going to get more reliability with your positional play. So I hope people found that useful there and you've got a reference point now for where I'm aiming on the cue ball for all of those shots there when I'm taking a nice final line up to the object ball. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please consider subscribing to the channel and as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.